today we are going to look at the best phone under 15,000 rupees. It's early 2024 and we already have some great deals and offers going on right now. So plenty of updates in terms of pricing and the specifications you get with the phone. So before we start the list, I want to say a few things about the phones. So recent launch of Redmi Note 13 Pro at 25,000 rupees is taking Note Pro series to mid-range phone category, which is quite disappointment and not anymore a budget phone that it used to be. But anyways, we have the non-pro series here that's right above 16,000 rupees and not cutting below 15,000 rupees for a 6GB 128GB variant and it is hard for me to recommend it in my list so that's why I'm avoiding the Redmi series. What's interesting here is it's a sibling Poco which has very similar specifications and is priced crazy at just rupees 12,000 rupees and you just can't ignore this phone. So the number one phone in the list is under 15,000 rupees the Poco M6 Pro 5G. Now it comes with Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 processor latest budget friendly processor. It's a replacement to the Snapdragon 695 and is quite good in terms of overall performance actually. So Poco M6 Pro which has 6.79 inches Full HD Plus screen with 90 hertz refresh rate and 550 nits of brightness. So that's decent enough. 50 megapixel camera f1.8. So along with 2 megapixel portrait camera is what you get behind. And as with the selfie camera, it's just 8 megapixel and does the job easily. So battery is rated at 5000 mAh with 18 watts fast charging and has IP53 rating to complete the phone. So a great budget phone if you are a Poco fan and likes the design specially. So that's the perky part with the Poco series here. So if you're wondering to get um, like 120 hertz refresh rate phone, so do we get within 15,000 rupees? Yes, 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage under 15,000 rupees. So it also has 6.5 inches full HD plus 120 hertz screen Diamond City 7020 processor. Again, similar performance to the Poco one. Excellent 50 megapixel optical image stabilization camera at f1.8 along with the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. So which is very competitive and comes in handy at times this ultra wide camera especially. So you also get the 16 megapixel selfie camera which is quite good and has a 6000 mAh battery here. Now after all this specification any guesses which phone I am talking about. So it's the Motorola G54 5G. At 15,000 rupees for Motorola fans it's a great bang for buck. So if you like the look of it just go for it. Next up is the Realme 11X 5G. No surprise here as Realme phones have always been competitive and great value for money phones. This one rocks a 6.72 inches with 120Hz AMOLED display and peak brightness here is 680 nits so it's quite bright in sunlight which is really great it also comes with diamond city 6100 plus processor a uh, quite below uh, the Poco or uh, say the previous phone we saw from Motorola but still does the job. You get the 64 megapixel f1.79 aperture with 2 megapixel camera setup which is decent enough and gives better images especially in low light due to its aperture. And you have the 8 megapixel selfie camera with plenty of features to kill the time. So it also has 5000 mAh battery with 33 watts fast charging. So overall a decent value for money phone like I said if you are looking for a value proposition for uh, photography enthusiasts uh, and you like the looks of it definitely go for this Realme 11 X. 5G. Next up we have the IQ00. So the list isn't complete if you don't have the IQ00 phone. So it's from Vivo. So Z7S 5G quite a popular phone right now because of its value proposition again. So this phone is absolutely stunning to uh, not just look at but also in terms of overall feature set that it has to offer. At 15,000 rupees you get the 6.38 inches Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 1300 nits of brightness. So best in class brightness, 64 megapixel optical image stabilization camera, 6 GB, 128 GB RAM and storage respectively. And you also get the 44 watts fast charging and it's IP54 rated as well. So it is also the slimmest smartphone I guess in its entire segment. So the only negative aspect of this phone is not quite negative but slightly old chipset is what they're using. It's the Snapdragon 695 5G. Of course it performs uh, really well as on par with the Poco as well as uh, the Motorola phones. But then again this one is already replaced by the Snapdragon 4 Gen 2. But still 695 has been for a while and is very reliable and fast in terms of performance. So that should not be an issue. And hence this IQ 00 Z7S is absolutely worth checking out if you want a great all-rounder. So lastly we have any guesses which phone comes up here. It's the Samsung's excellent M34 5G for 15,000 rupees. Three things about this phone that stands out from the rest. First one is the excellent display. So it comes with 6.5 inches 120 hertz super AMOLED display which is really bright and great. Second one is four generations of OS upgrade and five years of security updates which is absolutely awesome from Samsung especially at this budget price range phone. So if they are offering these many things so it's really great. So the third one is the overall feature set that you get with this one. So it makes a great value for money smartphone again. So very competitive 
few phones out here so this one comes with 6000 mAh battery 50 megapixel primary camera that's no shake camera and 8 megapixel setup which is ultra wide and you also have the 2 megapixel camera setup along with the 13 megapixel selfie camera that's decent enough so a very highly recommended phone this season so which one are you going to pick out of these let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and if you are asking me personally to pick one phone i would either go with the samsung m34 5g or i would pick the motorola g54 5g so these are my personal choices it's up to you again great phones out there at this price range so let me know in the comment section down below which one are you going to buy if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button like and share to support this channel that's it in this video so see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye